Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is uh, take three. I, um, I've been out here since, uh, it's uh, seven o'clock and I've been out here since uh, 3.30 this afternoon and took a few videos, uh, but the storage on my camera hadn't, uh, there's enough storage. So I'm gonna try this again. I'm uh, working on trying to hit these things and working on uh, perfecting my serve. So it's something I do you know, pretty much as much as I can. Any chance I get a chance to, to, to work on something. I come out to the tennis courts and I do that. So uh, we ain't got much light. I'm gonna put the lights on pretty soon. So I'm gonna go out here and uh, I've already been out here for like three hours. So I'm a little beat, but um, I'm training to get my body in shape uh, for and, and to fight this diabetes. Also, um, I got an up and coming match with, uh, with our friend over there, Trey at Winners uh, Tennis Only. And he's been training. So I think we're gonna have a great match. And uh, I seen you play, Trey. You, you did great, man. Um, you were playing with that dude, Chris. And uh, I think, uh, you know, you played awesome. And uh, it looked like the heat might have got to you a little bit because it's hot in Texas. I, I've never been there, but I you can only imagine it's hot down here in Florida, too. So um, the only thing that we're saying about, uh, you know, I watched a few of your, your, well, your volume and stuff. Uh, some of the times when you when you're volleying everybody makes this mistake is you, you have to change your grip to a continental grip my dude and uh come underneath the ball to spend your legs a little bit more and i think you'll, you'll you're gonna you know make more volleys and uh you'll win more points that way and uh just work on your second serve you did great and uh just play your game man don't let anybody uh you know bring you down or anything like that just play the way that you play if you lose that way then um you know you, at least you played your style and you, know, you did your best um, you're not playing somebody else's style and they're bringing you down to their their type of style of play and uh, Chris played really good so I give that guy credit and um, I don't really like the word pusher or hacker or anything um, everybody has to get the ball in, in the court and then when you when you're playing against people like that you just have to adapt, uh, adapt to that that, that, that style, uh, uh, how they're doing it, and just use your style to beat it. So, you know, be a little bit more aggressive on your second, uh, on, on the return of serve. And I think that you'll, uh, you'll, you'll beat these types of players a, a little easier. Well, it won't be easier, but it'll be, uh, you won't be so frustrated. You'll be able to hit more winners and you'll be able to put more pressure on them. But I think you're playing outstanding. You're doing great, man. And, uh, we, you know, you have to come out here and practice just like I'm doing, and you're doing that. And uh, your game's looking good, and I uh, look forward to playing against you. And uh, I wish you the best, you know. Just keep practicing. Uh, if you start playing doubles, you'll get better at volleying. That's how I got better at volleying. I'm not bad at volleying. Uh, I, I'm pretty decent at it. But it takes time. You have to put time on the court. And uh, that's what we're doing now. We're going to practice some shots, and we're going to practice some uh, some swings.
serving the other day. And I was playing double shot down knee brace. Uh, still pretty good with knee brace.
there's a way you, I think these falls are going right near the cone, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy about the accuracy. I'm pretty close to the cones. And as you see, when I go down the middle of the tee here on, on uh, with the camera, I gotta watch out for the tripod because I already broke the tripod. So, been out here for a few hours, like I said. I just wanted to warm up a little, I mean, you know, uh, I'm working on bending my legs more and really getting into it now. Before I was using an arm serve and I had people coming to my channel telling me I need to work on my art, you know, my technique, but I have a plate in my shoulder. So that's why my toss was the way it is. But now I'm starting to get back into where I used to, how I used to play with my, using my legs to serve and putting more power into the ball and uh, get, getting more spin. So, like I say, every day I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna get better and better and better, and I'm gonna improve, and then it's just gonna be second nature. These cones are just gonna hit them every time. But, you know, I'm coming real close to every one of them, and when I look at the video, I think I'll, you know, I'll be able to, to, to see what I'm doing wrong. But I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks so much for the support. Thanks for everybody that subscribed. And uh, I, I appreciate Trey giving me the opportunity to play against him. I think it's going to be a great match. I think we'll have a lot of fun. And I think we'll be able to bring more people to the game of tennis. Because, uh, you know, if you put work into this game, you're going to get better. And I'm trying my, my hardest for everybody. And I'm also trying to, to beat this diabetes, too. And it's very hot out here. And uh, as I said, I think you played an uh, awesome Trey. So don't listen to any of these idiots from these channels. You're doing great, man. You're doing great. So uh, there's always going to be some, uh, you know, like that guy Angelo's tennis was telling you, don't respect, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't respect your opponents. If you, uh, if you listen to that type of, type of people, you're going to be in a battle with people because if you disrespect your opponents, you're going to give them fuel and they're going to fight harder and they're going to try to play harder. So, uh, you know, play, do your best, play your game the way you play. And uh, I think we'll have a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I'd rather lose 6-0 playing the way that I like to play than win, uh, to, than, than lose 7-5 uh, playing the, other, the way somebody else, somebody else's style of play. So I've been working on hitting short shots, as you see, and practicing serving and volleying because uh, I do that uh, sometimes in doubles just to throw the, my opponent off because they don't expect it because basically I'm a baseliner. But uh, when I play doubles, I come into the net, and that's why I say if you – you really want to learn how to, or get, not learn, you're, you're a good ball, you're, you know, that's all in your head, uh, and people will tell you that you can't do stuff, and don't listen to those people, all I said, you know, is just use your continental grip, and the, the one ball that I was messing around with, that's exactly what I did wrong, uh, I had, uh, ran in and started moving my hand over to the, to the, to, uh, to the semi-western, eastern grip, and that's why, you know, like I say, because look, look what happens, your, your racket closes automatically, but when you do it this way, it's automatically open. So when you put your foot down, your racket's already open and you're just absorbing the pace. You're not swinging at it. You just have the racket right in front and let the ball come off of it. And uh, I practice dropping balls and running, you know, because all kinds of weird shit happens in doubles. I mean, weird shit. I've seen so many crazy shots recently. It's been unreal. So I practice just throwing the ball you know, running and keep thinking it over or running this way or, you know, when I serve, I'll drop the ball and, and, and practice hitting it down the line, you know, uh, as if somebody was returning it. But nothing replaces another person playing, playing against another person. So I don't have anybody to hit with right now or to play with right now. So uh, I, I, use, uh, I do what I can and make up my own drills and uh, use these cones. To, to, to see as a marker to see where my the ball is landing, you know, because uh, I've been cracking the ball pretty good, my dude, but I ain't nowhere. You know, you have a huge serve. I'm I'm only uh, five seven, and uh, I'm trying to get down to about one fifty five. I'm at one seventy nine right now, but I was at two forty, so I'm doing pretty good. I think, like I say, the more I get more flexibility in my legs, the more I can come underneath that ball and bend and really get into it and put spin on the ball. And it'll help me with my doubles game too. Because to be honest with you, I like playing doubles more than singles sometimes because it's just exciting. 
there's a lot of things that go in as fast, you know. But I like singles too. But I had, you know, I just started playing singles again after 23 years of not playing. So uh, I, 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 tennis is fun no matter what we're doing. But I know that for me playing doubles, I'm getting better at, at, at volleying. So when I play singles, I'm able to volley better. And um, these are pretty decent rackets. I'm pretty comfortable with this. It's a big racket. It's 110. And it's very light compared to the profiles, you know. Uh, this is like nine ounces, and my profiles are 13 ounces and uh, 375 grams or something like that. The profiles, and this this is like 270, 270 grams, I think. I think the stats are on here. And let's see. Yeah, this is 280 grams. 9.9 .9 ounces and it's 110 square inches so this is the biggest racket I've ever played with 110 square inches and that's something to get used to too but it's it's kind of cool man um, especially you know when I when you start working on getting kick working on kick serves and spin and, and slices and stuff you can really brush the ball pretty cool and it, it makes a cool sound so thanks again everybody and we'll be back soon I'm gonna round these balls up and we're gonna um, you know do another do another session Hopefully I can get past this rain. There's a big ass cloud over here. I'm thinking it might rain because I hear thunder. So let me see what we can do. Everybody have a great Memorial weekend and uh, keep up the good work. Everybody that's training and uh, just know one thing. God loves you and so do I, my friends. And I appreciate everybody that subscribed to my channel and uh, everybody that's giving me support. I can't thank you enough and I really appreciate it. Thank you.